Hi everyone, so this is the first presentation to do with the actual writing of your annotated bibliography and I'm going to talk about how you write up your search strategies that you've used to find your three resources for this assignment. So if you've looked at the template and the models, you'll see that in the first section of the template it asks you to describe the search strategies you use to find each of your resources. So I'm going to talk about how you can go about this and what sort of information um, that we'll be looking for as we mark this um, part of your assignment. So the first thing you should probably do in your search strategies is tell us where you started your search. So I've given some examples there. So you need to tell us if you went to the CQU library catalogue or you went to the ABS website or you looked at a government department website or maybe you searched um, Greenpeace um, because that's really vital to understanding what type of information you're looking for. So once you've told us that, then you need to tell um, tell the reader or the marker the keywords you used in your search or perhaps you used a phrase search and why you chose them. So I've given an example there. So you might write something like this. Because my first prime problem is climate change or whatever problem you've chosen in Australia, I use the following combination of phrase search and keyword, climate change as a phrase search and Australia. And there also you might mention if you've used a Boolean operator such as and or or not and what that um, does for your search strategy. Then you'll get some results and you might make a comment as to the number of initial results you receive. So it could be very few or it could be um, a huge number or it might be a nice workable number. And then you might describe what this meant in terms of how you continued. So for example, this search provided 3 million results which indicated my initial search was too broad. So then tell, tell us what you decided to do with that. So you refined your search strategy by adding or changing keywords and limiting the search to the last three years and you'd tell us exactly what you did there. Maybe you did something else, maybe you went back to the beginning and tried some different synonyms for your keywords that weren't so general. Maybe you tried a different search platform, so you might have been working in Google and you decided no that's too broad, I need to go directly to the library catalogue. So that's something that would be would be we would be expecting to see in this part of the um, annotated bibliography. And then finally, once you've selected each resource as a result of your search strategy, you've got to explain why you chose it. So we're looking for a sentence or two that, that tells us this. So some good reasons are because it contained the keywords of your search in the title or perhaps the abstract, um, or because maybe you skimmed through what you found and it looked relevant to your essay's topic. Um, some not so good reasons are because it was the first result in the list, so that's just random. Um, or because it looked interesting, that's too vague of a reason. So be specific as to why you selected this resource and then you will go on to evaluate it in the next section of the annotated bibliography. So what you need to do as you start searching is make sure you keep notes according to these guidelines. So where you searched, what keywords you used, how many results you got, um, did this make you change your search strategy in any way, how did you change it and then why did you choose the resource that you've chosen. So once you've written them up make sure that this description of your search strategies goes in the first section, the first large section of the template underneath the citation and then you'll move on to the next part in each section of the annotated bibliography which is the evaluation of re each resource and that's what I'll talk about in the next presentation.